bad thing. <laughs> but once you've done it, and you've done it and you like it, you enjoy it. It's not addictive, but you get addicted to the, the mental state of mind, you know? Whenever I have a problem or I'm stressed, automatically I need it, you know? When I'm not doing nothing, when I'm bored, the first thing I look for is weed. Sorry. Um, Gunesh, once a month, somebody, uh, somebody cleans it. And there's four of us. No, the toilet. Oh, oh. I do this one. Yeah, and you, every week one person. Yeah, I once a month. Yeah, you want someone for every person. The four yeah, of us live yeah, 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 yeah. I said, your mother should come every week. It's the first time I ever really talked seriously about it. <laughs> it's just, it's embarrassing when your march comes, man. Documentaries meant to be about me, not Ahmed. I'm I feel like you're making the tea and shit. It is. <laughs> first time my mom comes by the house. The house is very dirty. I'm panicking. I should be keeping the house clean, but as you can see, it's gone into a right state. Uh, usually on my day off, I'll wake up uh, very late, as late as possible. I try to get as much sleep as I possibly can. It's important that I sleep for as long as possible. Uh, when I wake up, probably uh, hit a little a zoo and wake up slowly. Maybe have a shower. Today I'm busy cleaning because my mom is coming. She hasn't been to this house before. So it's important she comes, she finds everything nice and clean. I'm just gonna move her now. Uh, we just moved into this house uh, a couple of months ago. It's the second month now. Uh, it's quite nice. We're comfortable here. We live on Bourne View, Sudbury. It's quite nice. Close to work, only 10 minutes, so. I'm just still waiting for you, bro. He's in the room, I just thought I'm already. Yeah. Is it? Now here's the lane. Oh, this is gonna dust everywhere. See? So. Disgusting, bro. What happened? That caterpillar. Did you see that caterpillar was there yesterday? Where? What? Did you see the caterpillar? Where? It was on the floor, on the corner. So where? Here? No, no, downstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, mama saw it. It's dead now. It's got green stuff coming out of it. Oh. Hey, listen, listen. That mad cat, is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. We need a girl. Boy won't do us any good. Why? Because boys don't sit in the house. They go around everywhere else looking for girl cats. But girl cats stay in the house. Try forward, they're just like... A little bit of cat loving, huh? Huh? A little bit of cat loving. They'll get rid of those mice. Yeah. We've got mice in the house. Don't tell them we've got mice, bro. <laughs> yeah, you have got mice. Oi, bro, it turned out we got like pear mice. And do you know why we have these cat mice, bro? <laughs> I'm going to tell you why we have these cat mice. The reason why we have these cat mice is because this guy, this guy, Anna, Inside the inside his room, he lives in his place. Just sit in his room, you know. That's a lie. The only thing I live in my room is cups of coffee. You know when you have a cup of coffee at night and then you go to sleep. What about the yogurt? What about the yogurt? He left the yogurt there for about oh, two weeks. Yeah, you don't need to be careful with your mice. Bro, the mice only come out from the room you're in. Yeah, I know. Do you know where they come from? Yeah, I know. They come from inside that cupboard. Yeah, I know. Damn, they were sleeping straight like. into Anna's place. Ah, they are fun in Anna's place. <laughs> what does he want the mice in his room? <laughs> Anna will give them to him if he wants. <laughs> I've got my wifey, she comes down on the weekends. Just chill, she cooks a nice meal. She's the best cook in the world. <laughs> you should put that down in the documentary. She can hook a nice meal up. Supposed to be yeah, what, what do you want anyway from the outside shop? I don't know. We need juice. Okay. Or a fizzy drink. Alright. Um. Me and my wife, we don't live together. She studies up in Coventry. So she's got her house up there. So sometimes I spend the weekend up there and sometimes I spend the weekend here. So it depends. Yeah, yeah we don't need to go far. It's just I've been wanting to go somewhere far. Whose letter is this? Yeah, my wife, she knows I smoke. She doesn't like it. Uh, we always fight about it. 
she thinks I'm wasting my money and time, which is true. But I enjoy it, you know. When you enjoy something, it's hard to give it up. But uh, I'd hope, you know, hope soon that I, I, I quit it, you know. I tried once or twice before, but I never succeeded. But hopefully, you know, it won't come between us. Like I said, just nothing. Right? Hmm? As long as there's meat involved, then there's no vegetables. All right, so you choose like choose what you're gonna get, so you can take this idiot with you. But I thought you said that he wasn't that he didn't have enough time. Yeah, go in the half time. Anyway. I'll record the match for him, so he won't miss anything. When does that happen? About twenty fifteen minutes. Iceland has crap stuff. It's that. just Iceland. Unless you're going for anything else, there's nothing else. Yeah, I know. Go get a sponge cake. Go cost cutter next to it. They don't have much either. Get a normal sponge cake to get some custard. I don't tend to bring work problems at home. You know, I don't stress about it. It's better that way. Most people would say, ah, oh, this is cold or you don't care. But the truth is, you know, why should I stress my life about something that happened at work? You know, work is work. I stress about it at work, but as soon as they leave, you shouldn't really care, you know. You know, when you work in here for a long while, you develop little techniques to make you work quicker. I have to study something before I can move on to something else. I can't, I can't move to another job without, you know, getting at least a couple of certificates or something. If, you work, if you've got a degree with no work experience, it doesn't mean nothing. You have to have experience and a degree. You know, the degree doesn't count for much in media. Experience is what counts. And I know people in media, they work. They don't have any degree, just experience. They get paid a lot of money. You know, Martin Scorsese, I'm sure he didn't do a degree in filming. First story is ready. Stand by. Sit, I'm gonna go home now. Love it, there. I'll see you later. Uh, I'm, I'm not really close with my uh, family members. I don't know why. I mean, I love them and that. Um, I'd say I'm more closer to my mother than my father. Simply because uh, I live in England. My mother lives in England, so we see each other regularly. I talk to her about my problems. Basically, most of my problems mainly, mainly pleasing my family. Why you take off that? Yeah, what, what are you doing, darling? Oh, having a clean up. He's having a clean up. Before we come in, you should kill him, right? Yeah. Just a Big clean. Yes, very good. Oh, okay. Well, it was. Oh, okay. You don't take it. No, don't. How nice. We are charging them, you know? This boy is you. And it's very stupid. Where's our tea? What is the name? It's Coronation Street. <laughs> <laughs> Can they get Arabic Coronation Street? No, I need some more. I need more. Oh, shut up. I've got more pizza than this. No. You know, I haven't seen anyone else mock. I haven't seen anyone else mock. Palas, Palas. Palas, yeah. Mom, I heard you whispering to her. Huh? I never said nothing. You I? never said nothing. I said, you know, we don't go for one week. Can you take a holiday for one week, you want to see Nisty. Uh, enjoy, we want to have a holiday here. Yeah. If I had to do some things again, uh, definitely wouldn't have lived in India. I lived a while in India. Definitely would have done, not done that. Um, I made quite a few mistakes in my life, which I, you know, don't want to talk about. Probably would have done better at school. Probably would have concentrated more at school. I was uh, one of the kids sitting in the back of the classroom not paying attention. So yeah, I probably would have done school a bit more nicer. Would have paid more attention. But when you're young, you don't care, do you? You just 
you don't think it's going to be this difficult. Uh, I'm a Muslim. There's no doubt I'm a Muslim. And it's spiritually, I mean, my faith in God is Muslim. I'm not such a good practicing, even though I'd like to be. Uh, but I don't practice, I don't pray all my prayers on time. And that. I've been trying lately, but one day I'll pray, one day I won't pray. <laughs> The most enjoyable time for me would be uh, relaxing and just chilling at home with Amir. So we're against the sky, man. That's a bit stupid. What if I can Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking at the red thing at the bottom. Oh, you... It goes bigger and smaller. I see you. I see you. I see you. You can't see nothing. <laughs> well done, bruv. I was born uh, here in a little place called Salisbury, just a few hundred miles, not a few hundred, a few miles away from Southampton. Um, quite a nice place. Uh, but most of my life I lived in London, North London to be precise, Finchley. Uh, when I first came to London, I lived in Cricklewood. And spend a few years, five years in Cricklewood, then we moved to Finchley and spent maybe like nine years in Finchley. So I've spent most of my life in Finchley. When I was younger, I had uh, identity problems. You know, I didn't know who I was, where I was. You know, when I go back to Libya, when my dad takes me to Libya, they'll say, oh, you're the English boy. When you come here, you're the Arab kid. So you have that issue. But uh, you overcome it, you know, you build your own personality. You, you tend to realize it doesn't really matter where you're from or what you look like. I mean, I think mixed race people don't have racism issues because they come from two different races in the first place. This one's a quite a big one I'm making right now. And that's because I've been having smoked nothing all day. So I want to get fucked, as they would say. Because my mom's here, she doesn't like me smoking. So I've got a chance now to smoke something. <laughs> Before later, then I'm later, I can't smoke nothing because she'll shoot me. My mum, she sees it, she's not happy, but... <laughs> we cigarettes, we don't smoke them, we bought them from Dubai. And they taste like shit, so I just put them in here. <laughs> Now I'm putting on weight because my wife has been here, I'm exercising, I'm having protein. But truthfully, I really have to stuff. I want a family, you know. That's what I want. It's nice, you know, when it's once a month you do it. Twice a month. But when you become like me every day, it becomes too much. So do you think this... Uh doesn't go with having family kind of no it does if if you're sensible you know right now i'm not sensible every day i smoke every fucking day sometimes i don't like it sometimes i like it did i tell you i went to amsterdam you know obviously i went to amsterdam mm -hmm. that's where i got those little birds from i smoke every day every day people they smoke for enjoyment you know i smoke it to relax it's very bad I should relax without it. When I first started, I never used to smoke. All my friends used to smoke, I never used to smoke because I wanted to be in the army, British army. But then when they I had a few problems and I couldn't get in, and then I just started smoking with my friends. They wanted me to do something I didn't want to do. They wouldn't let me do what I wanted. They wanted to, I shouldn't put that in a documentary. <laughs> they wanted me to listen on the phones. You know, listening on the phones, listen to the Arab people, what they're saying, finding the terrorist. I suppose it's a good job for some people, but I just didn't want to do it. I have to clean on the floor, otherwise the wife will shoot. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. I wanted to do the right, I wanted to try the right signals, communication in there. And they wouldn't let me do what I wanted. They said, you have to sit in the office and listen to phone conversation. I don't want to be listening to phone conversation. Telling you, the best place to study is in the British Army, if you want to study something. They pay you to study. The British Army is a good place to start your life, you know. 
you don't have to go to war uh, with a Muslim country if you're a Muslim in the British Army. This is a special contract for Muslims who's, who choose to join the British Army because the British Army, obviously, they know Muslims, they're not allowed to uh, kill another Muslim. So they don't send them. But some people I heard late recently, because they're getting a bit tight, some people got sent away, you know? So you never know. But apparently when I joined, they said they'll never send me to uh, fight in a Muslim uh, region or a Muslim nation. But then you never know. And sometimes you kill someone, you turn out to be a Muslim. <laughs> you don't know how it is. But I wasn't thinking about that kind of stuff then. I was thinking about myself and my future and my life. I wasn't thinking about uh, killing or going to war, do you know what I mean? I was thinking, it's, I'm going to study, I'm going to be very healthy and I'm going to, you know, make a career out of telecommunications. <laughs>